so hi guys this is me anshad welcome back to my youtube channel so let's get started today i'll be teaching you how to write an IEEE paper so that is one of the most important skills in any technical institutions or if you are doing a ug or pg so let's yeah, uh, let's start with uh, uh, one of the example paper which uh, me and my team has published so this is one of the paper which have we have published in, in one of the international conference which was held in mysore so that was international conference on recent trends in electronics and communication icrtec 2023 so uh, let me say, say you some of the important things in an ieee paper ieee conference specifically conference paper so yeah so first thing is we have they uh, each paper has to uh, th there has to be a title in uh, in every paper this is the title forest fire detection using nrf24 l01 wireless sensor network and prediction by machine learning that is one of, uh, that is the title which we have given similarly you can write your own title for your papers so and coming to the next we have uh, a section called we have a section called the name you have to mention your name of the authors and depart uh, dep from which department from which institutions and where uh, your mail id and your location so there are uh, here we uh, usually mention the different aspects uh like a different uh, names of the different authors based on the uh, you you can say uh, based on who uh, who has written uh he uh, uh, first person should be the prime author and uh, remaining uh the uh, uh, continue uh, continuous wise so yeah let's continue with that now in abstract now uh, we have the here uh, abstract of the paper should be write, uh, written at the starting and where we can uh we can uh, he give a uh, abstract summary of the entire paper and now here we have to mention the keywords like important keywords that are used in uh important keywords that are used in the paper okay now let's continue with that now first for every paper there has to be an introduction to uh introduction to the entire paper and coming to the next uh, se uh, section there is we have related works uh we have uh, because f based on the literature survey only you uh, perform the different experiments so we have to uh, mention what are the different uh, previous books that has been uh, uh, uh that has worked uh, that has been uh, tested so yeah uh, we, and we have to mention each of uh, we have to mention each uh, from which paper we have taken that which is already mentioned in the reference we have to cite it and also highlight the uh, highlight e which part of the para is selected from uh, which paper so yeah continuing with that now let's go to the next uh, uh, next uh, section that is methodology in this we we might have a subsections or here i have added subsection because there are two uh two me methodologies one is detection and one is prediction so we have actually you can have only single methodology and you can have a block diagram and uh, you can explain the methodology and coming to the next after this coming to the next section that is the results and discussion which is one of the important section because you have to mention the different findings that you uh, observe in your experiment or in your project uh, and discuss the uh, uh, results that uh, that you have got so here also some uh, similarly i have two sections uh, instead of that you can have a single section you can you can have multiple uh, photos uh, multiple photos and uh, corresponding legends so and uh, yeah and uh, you can also add different photo uh, different tables uh, which you have uh, for example here i have added the comparison of the logistic regression accuracy of different sets of uh, using different sets of parameters so you can have different table you can have different photos and you can add different equations and coming to the uh, last but not the least uh, uh, i mean before that uh, conclusion and future scope you have to add the conclusion of the and the future scope uh, of the paper first so you can have a two para one is a where you can mention the conclusion in the first para and first uh, coming to the last uh, coming to the last one that coming to the last one that is the reference one that is the references where you mention all the papers which you have referred in order to uh, before doing this experiment and while writing this paper so you i have added around 14 uh, for 14 uh, conference uh, uh, conference papers are including journals uh, and different articles uh, you can cite it from directly from uh, uh, IEEE um, explore so yeah this is the um, uh, different aspects of a paper so let's start uh, with how to uh, how to write a paper uh, in this format you might have the content but you may not know how to write a, uh, write the uh, uh, write the paper in this format so this is called double uh, double sided column uh, uh, format so yeah let's continue with that so yeah now let's we have to search for IEEE 
uh, IEEE conference paper latex template because we will be writing the uh, preparing the document in the latex uh, format. So yeah, continuing first, uh, you go you can go to the first uh, first link itself that is manufact uh, manuscript template for conference. So this from you, you can download from the uh, official IEEE.org website. Here there, uh, there are micro, uh, Microsoft, uh, I mean, uh, Microsoft Word documents or uh, formats also, or you can download directly the latex format. So I'm downloading the latex format uh, that is uh, around 63 KB. Yeah. You can download the zip file. Yeah, let's get it uh, downloaded. So after downloading, you have to go to a. We will be using an Overleaf uh, website in order to which uh, in order to write the paper. So yeah, let's search Overleaf. So yeah, and log into your account using your Gmail. Uh, or there are different uh, ways to log in. So once you get login, uh, you have to uh, launch a new project. You can upload the project. That is, you can upload the zip file that you have downloaded. So yeah. I'm uploading the zip file over here. So cool. I have uploaded the uh, uploaded uh, the zip file that I have downloaded, and you can see the entire exact format that has uh, that they have mentioned. So we'll be just editing the text, and you will get a beautiful paper uh, in the correct format. So let's uh, start with it. First, we have to edit the con conference uh, title, conference paper title. So let's start with the conference. I'm just copying the same text, uh, same text from my paper which was already published. So yeah, cool. So uh, here, yeah, where is after the abstract? We can see. We can search for the where is conference. So this is the title, a keyword, abstract, and title of the. This country of exam before this it will be yeah footprint yeah. here this is the title you can add the title exact title over here so yeah cool cool i have added the exact title required and if i recompile you can observe the exact title appearing on the right side so yeah we have got the you can uh, remove the uh, shark star mark so good. That's good. So I've added the um, exact uh, the title. Now, if you don't want the subtitle, the note and the subtitle, you can actually remove the entire thing, uh, entire thing from there. Good. You can remove the subtitles from here. Like, uh, see, I've re uh, removed. Just uh, delete the uh, subtitle and the thanks. Uh, a section from here if you which is not probably recording all the papers if you want you can mention it and just recompile uh, recompile it will this will be removed okay good so now coming to the next we have to add the uh, name a uh, department uh, name organization city and uh, city uh, in the, from which city and the country you are and even the email address so yeah i'll just copy the same thing yeah cool yeah. Uh, first name given uh, first given name okay if you don't want the uh, a trans, uh, text subscript uh, you can remove that as well so i'm just removing that as well over here p unshad okay cool i'll just copy the next one as well department of ec from which department you are and you can sorry yeah. From which college? Name of the organization. Cool. And city Mysuru and uh, country India. And copy instead of writing. That's fine. Mysuru India. 
so yeah that is done and in the uh, and you can add an email id you can add in this one So I've added the email. If you recompile, you can observe the changes uh, made here. Good. So we have uh, changed the uh, content for the first uh, um, first uh, in name and the uh, details. So and let me see if, uh, for example, I have uh, I have just four authors here. So if I want to remove one of the author, I can easily remove the author. Uh, for example, let's I'll, I just want five authors uh, here. So let's remove the last section. Uh, yeah, let me remove the last section. That is from here. You can just remove the last section and just recompile it. So it will uh, it will delete it automatically. And if you just want three of it, just uh, you can actually mention you can actually delete the other two. Yeah, uh, I have just uh, I just need three authors, so I have deleted the remaining authors, and you can uh, uh, give the different names for the, uh, the like specific name for the authors, okay, and department name and the organization. So let's move on to the abstract section. Uh, like um, now we have closed the title. Now we will go move on to the abstract section. I'll just copy the abstract off from my paper itself. So yeah, cool. I'll just copy the abstract. So we'll just copy the abstract and paste it here. It's just a uh, copy and if you have the content automatically, you can just uh, paste it directly. Uh, you, that's the most easiest way. First prepare the content, then you just can directly uh, can paste it here. So just recompile and the abstract is done. And let's move on to the uh, index terms that are the keywords. Nothing but the keywords. Just copy the content from here. Uh, from the content that we have prepared uh, and just paste it over there so uh, keywords what are the keywords they are asking so just mention the keywords and uh, that uh, that are the most important keywords in your paper so yeah yeah cool so it's updated the keywords are updated uh, and let's move on to the next session that is the introduction that is for uh, the introduction so yeah, I'll just copy the same content that I've prepared uh, from my in my paper itself. Just copy the same content. Cool. So I've just copied the same content from the introduction. Just copy it in this section, and you can easily uh, you can easily add add it up. Cool. So there's just some spelling mistake. Yeah. Vegetation, good. Good. So, yeah, let's continue with that. And uh, you can have a multiple section here. There are first year, first year's introduction, then second can be, uh, second can be the related works. You just copy the, uh, like, just you can just write down the uh, section which you need. When so you can change the name and you can related works. So cool, that is done. Related works is done, and you can actually mention the yeah uh, subsections. Uh, you can you can have actually a subsection for uh, different as you have said. You just have to mention subsection a uh, uh, slash subsection, and you can write the. Uh, uh, write the name of the subsection so that easily creates a subsection uh, as shown here for maintenance in integrity of of the specification that is a subsection if i want another subsection just uh, you can add another uh, slash subsection which will create another subsection over here so as you can see it is a b with the same name like i can just edit here uh, just edit the content here and create uh, two subsections. You can actually add the content 
uh, required here so i just copy the same content just to show you what is it uh, you can how you can add in between the uh, like content in between the sections so yeah content for the section first uh, 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 related works you're just adding them uh, the first section comes up and you can add the content for the first section then you can move on to this next section and if you will let me say if you want sub sub sections like if you want uh, su sub sections under uh, the certain uh, sub sections cool uh, so let's copy the same heading over here and you can actually have a subsection so below this this copy and writes sub sub section so yeah that's it so cool just recompile uh, it here so just recompile i guess it's created uh subsection because see uh the for subsections are mentioned as a and b and the sub sub sections are mentioned as one so yeah that's cool um yeah you have you now we have learned how to create add text uh, add content and how to create a subsection and here how to create a sub sub section in my upcoming videos let's learn how to um how to add points uh how to add points how to uh, write equations in a uh, uh, methodology how to add um uh, how to add um, you can say tables how to add figures how to add references and in the uh, my in the upcoming videos so let's sit stay tuned uh to my youtube channel let's get back to you uh let's back uh let's get back to you and now this is the end of today's section so you can after the after editing the uh, entire content you actually can directly download the pdf format you can just open and view it see see these are the content i just have to edit the remaining part of the uh, content uh, format required by them format required by them because 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 the exact template is provided by the IEEE itself so there is no problem of like a uh, format error you just have to put the content you'll get generated with the exact format so yeah let's go um, so yeah i'll be winding this uh, today's video and we'll get back to you with different aspects of idle play papers in my upcoming videos this will be part one and remaining will be part two three uh it depends on the content that i'll be preparing so let's go uh, so i'm signing off see you guys do subscribe to my youtube channel like share and to re uh, share to all the uh, uh, your classmates your group members or who are like all the people and share in your different status so it will reach to a wider audience so thank you guys see you guys uh, see you back in my next video thank you